why this is too weak to So hi, I'm here with a setup video for my December daily. So um, this video might ha be going up like a day late. But anyway, so I have been setting it up every week with a different theme. This is my first time doing December daily, so I really wasn't sure what to do. And then I kind of noticed as I was writing in my uh, journal that I'm more so journaling than memory keeping, which I believe most people do. And the problem with that is that I don't really have time to take photos. I haven't really had time to go anywhere to take photos because my life is just work, work, work. Um, so mine has become uh, more of a journal. I use the prompts of a list that I found on Pinterest. I use the prompts some days, some days I don't use the prompts and I just journal. So you'll see that as I flip through it and show you um, how I wrote in things that, and show you the after the pin from the last week. So let's go ahead and look through here. Um, so this was week one. I did a kind of, um, I used the theme of the planner itself from Planners Anonymous, the deck to haul theme. And then the last week I did kind of like a farmhouse theme. Let me see, what was the first day? This was the first day. So I did like a farmhouse kind of vintage Christmas theme. So I'll just quickly flip through that with you here. Um, the first day was, um, I didn't do the prompt here. I just kind of journaled. Um, I used this sticker from the Happy Planner kind of as inspiration. They had also some washi strips that was similar to that. So I put some of that down and some of the stickers that came out of the sticker book that I had been using. Now, let me tell you guys something that I had to learn the hard way. <laughs> These stickers from this Cartabella sticker book, once they're down, they're down. They are not even the least bit removable. And then I'll explain something in a minute that I was very mad at myself about, but yeah. So that was day uh, seven. This was day eight. The prompt was lights. And so I used pretty much every single light sticker that I had left from my um, Planners Anonymous Deck the Halls stickers and um, put all of those down. And I put the little mini where she's all wrapped up in lights. I don't know if you can see that, but she's all wrapped up in Christmas lights. Um, then day nine, the prompt was blue. Again, I used some Happy Planner stickers from the winter book and I put, I'm sorry for what I said when it was winter because anybody that knows me knows I hate to be cold. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. <laughs> I'm so good. Um, so this is why I was mad at myself. I didn't plan it out the way I could have. I knew I wanted to use this Christmas tree paper, right? And I don't know if you guys remember from my last video, I said that the day that I journaled on this, I was gonna do like a Christmas tree farm scene over here. Well, lo and behold, the next day's theme was tree. <laughs> so if I had planned this properly, I could have actually had this paper on this day, but it is what it is. So I put a bunch of the tree stickers out of that Cartabella um, sticker book. Now I was trying to really make a scene with this, but this one went down crooked. And like I said, there's no removing these things. So then that affected like everything that I was trying to do on this page, but that's okay. I still love the stickers. And then I put this picked uh, Christmas tree sticker from Planners Anonymous on there. Um, the next day I just journaled. I don't think I used a prompt here. No, I did. The prompt was warmth. So I took one of the flat lay stickers from um, my Deck the Hall stickers for Planners Anonymous and I used a whole bunch of the stickers from that and decorated this page. And I felt that it was only fitting that I used the fireplace sticker since the prompt was warm. And it kind of goes along with this page because I had the warm and cozy, fa la 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 la, Mary, and all of this was on that cable knit sweater paper. So it all kind of work together there um day 12 the prompt was holiday so i used um letter stickers from that cartabella sticker book and an ornament from the planners anonymous deck to halls and then one of the minis um and i just journaled on there 
Um, I pretty much put that I really don't get into the commercial aspect of Christmas this year. I, I really wanted to celebrate, um, but I mainly use this season to observe, you know, the blessing of Jesus' birth. Um, and day 13, um, this one I thought was kind of fitting too. Um, it says, um, today's prompt is package. So I used a lot of Happy Planner stickers and a washi strip for that. And I wanted to mix it up a little bit. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I noticed that a lot of the words that I wrote on here were script stickers from the handwritten scripts. It's the handwritten plan sticker book. So I don't know if you could see that. So I went ahead and put in mail. I, I put in order and put the ED after that. This was an arrive sticker and I cut off the E and put arriving. So I just thought that would be fun to do something different with that and then I put oh what fun because oh what fun it is to receive packages so this whole journal entry was about receiving happy mail and how I need to go on a no spin all right so that is all for that week so the theme for this week is going to be a pink Christmas so let me show you some of the items I'm going to be using so I have this entire paper pad from Michael's um it is called Sugar and Sparkle, and I got this last year, so I'm not sure if this is still available, and it's all about a pink Christmas. So these are some of the papers. I've already cut them down to size. So I have this one with the gold hearts, this little one with like a fuzzy blanket or something. It has a little snow on it. This one with the bouquet print, this beautiful print here another beautiful print this one has the little um christmas trees and this one is an ombre with snowflakes and so those are the papers that i'm going to be using i believe this is the order that i want to use them um i don't think it's gonna make a difference this week as far as the the prompts go i don't think it will i'll probably regret not checking later <laughs> But I think I'm going to go with the order the way that I have it here. I wanted to mix up the pinks and the white. And since I pulled this white, I picked this one because it was the next brightest um, print or paper that was in that paper pack. So that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to punch them, glue every the papers back to back because as you see, I have been doing that. Um, let me show you. So the, the papers have been glued back to back. So I'm going to do all of that. So I don't have to do that on camera and then I will be back and we'll get to decorating. Okay. So I got all of my papers cut and got them all adhered on the backs of each other. And I am ready to get started. So I'm it's very hard for me to see because of the lighting right now, but I am going to um, zoom in a little bit so that you could see everything and I will try my best, my very, very best to be conscious of what I'm doing because I tend to get very wrapped up in what I'm doing. So please excuse my background here. It is a hot mess, but I'm in process of switching to my new desk, which has already been putting to, put together, so I'm excited about that. Um, and whereas the last time I had a very, very clear idea the last two weeks about what I was going to do on every page, I don't have that clear idea today. Um, but one thing I have done already is I, this was like a long strip in the little cut aparts page with all of these um little snowflakes on it so I took the strip and I cut out the snowflakes individually and I put some clear dates from one of my dates and holiday books on here so that I can use these for my dates I thought that was a genius idea <laughs> because I was like what am I gonna do about dates I had perfect idea what I was gonna do the last time I'm gonna incorporate these these were also on a strip of cut aparts and I cut these out this I'm probably going to save this for journaling, but I I know it had to have come from this paper pad, but I'm wondering if I have more of those. 
Also, I pulled out like this strip. It's pretty long, so I don't know how I would use it. I might have to cut it up a little bit, but I do want to use that. I took these out of some cut apart strips. Um, and then I also have this cut apart strip. Um, and I'm going to try to incorporate all of that. And the other thing that I really want to incorporate is this house. I don't, I can't do this whole thing. It would just totally be pointless and would cover up one of the papers. But I do really want to get that house. So we'll see. And then the only other thing I thought to use was my scraps. So I have a ton of scraps. This is that strip that I got the ornaments out of. I didn't want to use a Santa ornaments. I even have a, a cut apart strip with all of those houses. I have like this cut apart strip right here that I could use. And then all of my scraps. So like I said, I don't have as much of a clear idea this time around as I have had in the past. So there's one thing that I need to go grab before I get started and that is my adhesive. Um, or is it right next to me? It might be right next to me. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna try to incorporate a lot of my scraps. I had these washi tapes I thought of incorporating. This is one that I got from Raz, whose shop is Plans and Pens on Etsy. And then this is one of my Planners Anonymous um, washi tapes. Now, here's the other thing. I really thought about incorporating these washi tapes, but since I'm using this digital kit in the next theme, I decided not to use these two. So that's some of the stuff that I'm going to try to incorporate here. Like I said, I this has been a long, crazy week, so getting everything together, I didn't plan out everything as much as I had the other weeks, and maybe that'll just force me to be a little bit more decorative because like just looking at this strip I can cut this strip out and then use those little cut aparts and cut like the separate um, messages so I could cut out the happy holidays and the be happy and all of that so I'll probably do that so yeah let's go ahead and get started
Okay, all of the papers are done and decorated and I am now going to go ahead and put them in the planner. This planner is getting really, really, really chunky. Thank goodness it expands because I don't know what I would do otherwise. So let's just pop this open. All right, so this was the last page from the last week, okay? And so then we would have this. And we would have this. And once I get these in, I will do like a another little flip through of this week's pages. Oh, I forgot I need to punch a hole in here another hole. I got the other ones, but I forgot this one. All right. Whoops. Okay. I was like, why isn't that going in? Okay, so there's that. And then we have this. And this. That. And then this. Okay, let's close it up and see what we've got here. All right, so this was the last page from the last week. All right, so here's going to be the first page of this week. We've got this pink paper with like the glittered, um, I'm sorry, with the gold foil stars on it. Simple, I took some of the cutter parts and put it into strips with these poinsettias and I just put that on there with some washi tape made that one real simple then here I wanted to use that little house from that one big cut apart so I kind of cut around it and I thought it would go well with this paper and so I didn't really want to add much of anything else because the house I thought was a big um, standout piece here so I just put that cut apart that says tis the season then over here, these were all on a strip. I showed you that. So I cut those out separately and put those on here with this Happy Holidays, which is also a cut apart. Then on this one, I feel like this one's a little busy. I feel like I should have put this paper maybe over here, but oh well. Um, and then I added some sequins to go along with that. But I wanted to use this little um, Christmas tree print somewhere else in the, the pages. Here, these, um, let me show you this paper. So this was another paper. Um, I didn't use this one as one of my pages because it's pretty busy and there's a lot of gold foiling on here. So I just kind of, and I've made cards for coworkers, so I was cutting out these little um, ornaments separately for their cards. So I did the same thing here. And I just took my Sharpie and drew in some lines to make it look like they were hanging ornaments. But yeah, that paper is very busy. And I just didn't want to put it in here. And then I just put all is calm, all is bright on here. And here I have the Christmas tree paper. The Christmas tree paper I think is so stinking cute. I didn't want to do too much to this paper. So I just added in some hot pink sequins on that. And then here's my last paper. Since this had the snowflakes, I thought this phrase was appropriate for that. I'm dreaming of a pink Christmas since it had the snowflakes going in the pink ombre there. And then I took these little pieces that were actually on the ends of this phrase and I popped those up on some foam and put those in there. So that's what this next week is going to be looking like. Um, and as... As I've done in my other videos, you'll see me after the pen, um, after I've journaled for the week and this. And so um, I don't know if December daily, if the people go all the way through to Christmas or if they only go through, I mean, if they go through to the end of December, but I'm going to just go through through, uh, through to that week of Christmas so I will just be doing one more week in here and plus with as chunky as it's getting I probably won't be able to fit two more weeks but um the next theme is going to be a black white and gold Christmas theme
Or am I doing five weeks? I think I did say I was going to do the whole month. <laughs> ah, yeah. So, this is what I'll probably do then. But I don't want to do pink on pink. Because that I was thinking I could do the next week with this Planners Anonymous kit that I had from last year. Which was called um, Babe It's Christmas. But there's a lot of pink in that. And since it is for Christmas specifically, I'm like, well, that would be a good theme to put in for next week. I think I'm just going to go through Christmas week and I'm going to do the black, white, and gold. That's what I'm going to do for next week. So, all right. Stay tuned <laughs> for the next week. Um, I thought I had all this planned, but, you know, we can always make changes to our plans. Um... I mean, now the black, white, and gold would make sense to do that the last week because it would lead into New Year's. But no, I'm going to do one more week and call it the end of the December daily. And this kit, will we'll use it for next year. <laughs> That's what we'll do. All right, so tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know what was your favorite page that I decorated for this week. Um, like I said, I've been doing more journaling than actual memory keeping, but I just haven't had time to go do photos and things like that. So that's where we're at. So you know what to do. Be sure to slay, subscribe, like, and accept the alert so you miss any videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.